it's quite a common feeling to feel unmotivated when, uh, when you've come off the gear. You know, people tend to feel more motivated when they're on the gear. I think it's just all the state of mind, really. You know, you sort of, you sort of lose motivation when you come off. But taking supplements um, is more important than ever when you're, when you're off the gear. You know, you've got to keep your body sustained. You've got to keep your body active and performing as good as it can do. You know, you've got to remember the days before you even took it. If you ever did bodybuilding right, you know, you should have been training it to your full potential for years, way before you even touch gear. And then, you know, if you ever compete, you know, you've got to compete against the others and probably if that's the way you decide to go, that's when normally you would take it. But, you know, your body got bigger, it got stronger without it. And, you know, it can still do that without it. You know, I'm off now, I've just got over a bit of a cold, got a bit of a chest infection. And uh, like I told you before, I've got uh, my muscles seized around my, a nerve. Um, my neck um, in Canada, so I'm getting over that, but even I feel I'm motivated, still got to sort of force yourself to train as long as it's safe to do so, and get them supplements down you, you know, not necessarily mine, of course, you know, I've got all of mine to hand, so it's easy for me, um, I drink my Kalel during my workout, and throughout the day, because um, maybe it's just, an, again, another, another, um, another mindset, another state of mind, maybe, but, um, Having your mind in a positive place uh, certainly helps you um, with gains. That's a fact. So, whatever supplement brand it may be, as long as it's not one of the sh real, real, real fucking shit, um, shit brands like My Protein or fucking, um, well, there's fucking loads like that in there, really. USN, that's not particularly great. But um, you've got Alpha, Alpha's amazing. But Optimal Nutrition's good, Cytec. You know, they're fucking good brands. 5%? You know? 5%, yeah. Um, they're good brands, good products. And, you know, as long as you're keeping yourself sustained with them, you know, you won't really go far wrong and you will prevent a lot of injuries too. Now, bent over rows. <coughs> you really, really want to maximise that feeling with bent over rows. It's very simple. Keep that bar touching your leg at all times. So you want to ride this bar up and down your leg. So when you bring that bar in, you don't want to bring it here to the bottom of your solar plex. No, 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 no. You want to bring it into your groin. You want to punch it into your groin. Drag the bar down your leg and just below your knee. Drag the bar up your leg into the groin. I'll show you. And you've got to stick your ass out like a duck. I'm just going to go for a comfortable amount of reps. It's not particularly heavy. So I'm just going for... Trying to keep my, bo my body moving. Just try and go for the pump. So chest out, bend over, bend over, bend over to there. That's that point. Keep your body in that fixed position. Wide up your leg into your groin. See how the bar's touching my leg? Nice, safe way of doing reps without any risk of putting your back. You've got to keep your legs bent and your ass out like a duck. Wow. That's it. I've tried it, baby.